Improvements have been made to the Surface Trim Region Editing Mode in PowerShop 2015 R2. We can now enter the mode without having any surface selected from our Model Fixing Toolbar. It's the second icon down, Surface Trim Region Editing. So I've entered that and now when I select a surface you'll be able to see we've got our P-Curve Creation and Boundary Creation Toolbars that we can toggle between. I'm going to demonstrate the improvements to the Trim Region Editing mode by showing how we can paste this flat pattern of a tyre track onto this doubly curved surface. Let me just exit Surface Trim Region Editing mode for the time being and I will select my surface. What is very important here is that our surfaces are parametrically identical. If I select this edge curve here and turn on numbering, you'll see that we've got seven laterals. If I do the same to my flat surface, you'll see we have the same spacings between our laterals. We have an identical patch layout. This is very crucial because our P-curves, when I copy them from my flat surface to my curved surface, are being copied parametrically. So now what I'm going to do is paste these composite curves that have simply been drawn out and create them as P-curves on my flat surface. So I'm going to enter Surface Trim Region Editing Mode and select my flat surface. The first thing I need to do is project my curves onto my surface. We've standardised this dialog so it is now the same as when you create an oblique curve through an object. Select all of my composite curves and say OK. Once I've done this I can actually delete all of my composite curves. So I'll select them all and just hit delete. Now it looks like all of my curves have gone for my pattern but if I select that surface you can see they've all been converted into p-curves. So now what I want to do is copy these p-curves parametrically onto my curved surface. Now we could do this in previous versions of PowerShape but we had no icon, it was a typed command. Now we have this icon in the toolbar where we can copy p-curves to other surfaces. I'm going to select that icon and it prompts me to select the p-curves that I want to copy. I can select all my p-curves in one click like so and then I'm prompted to select the surface to copy to. I'll select my curve surface and hit apply. You can see that my pattern has been copied onto my doubly curved surface. Now all I need to do is create my boundaries. So I can toggle over to boundary creation mode and say auto create. And now I have my tire tread. There have been other graphical improvements to P-curve editing in PowerShape 2015 R2. For example, take this circle I have created. If I select one of the points on this circle, it is now more recognisable as it has a yellow circle around it and a magenta dot in the middle. The start point is represented by a green circle. If I wanted to break my p-curve like so, I can delete a section and then if I go into extend p-curve options you will see that we have a better graphical representation of how our extensions are going to occur. Previously we could only edit it by using this dialog here, but now we have a more interactive option. By default, our numbers are shown, so we know the start and end point of our curve. We can actually turn them off graphically using the green tick and the red cross. So at the moment I have by shortest route to nearest edge, and you can see the yellow dotted representation of how that new p-curve would be created. If I toggle through the options, for example, tangentially to nearest edge, you can see the new graphical representation like so, 
and turn it off and on and you'll see the dialog updates to it being extended at just the start of the p-curve or just at the end of the p-curve. We can also extend tangentially to a p-curve so I need to select my other p-curve and you can see how we've managed to do that. Or we can do it by shortest route to a p-curve and I will show both of them like that. So these are our graphical improvements to p-curve editing. You will also notice that as I zoom in or zoom out the amount of numbers that are shown changes so there aren't too many numbers in our view. This is going to make it easier when editing p-curves in surface trim region editing mode.